Hi there. My name is John Sears. I'm the Admin Services Coordinator for Vermont Department of Forest, Parks, and Recreation. And today I want to talk to you about the top five reasons you should be using Microsoft OneNote. The first and most important reason is you probably already have it. So it comes as default on all Microsoft devices. So if you're running on Windows 11, you probably have it. Windows 10 probably already have it. If you're using Office 365, you absolutely have it. And if for some reason you don't have it, whether it was deleted or removed from your computer somehow, you can download it very easily from OneNote slash downloads. So it's very readily available. It's also available on Android devices and Apple devices. So regardless of whether you're on mobile or whether you're on a PC, you can very easily access OneNote. Reason number two for why you should be using OneNote is the ability to search and move through your notes easily. So you can subdivide information very readily between notebooks, sections, pages, and subpages, but that doesn't always mean it's the easiest way to find what you're looking for. Because as you can see, when you start to use OneNote extensively, you can pretty easily end up with a ton of different sections and a ton of different pages. So the way you can navigate that, there are two ways that I like to do it. The first is tags. So if we go to the Home tab, we can see here there's a whole section dedicated to, ta to tags. And there are a large variety of pre-built tags that you can already use out of the box on OneNote. And so all you have to do is highlight a piece of information, select the kind of tag you want to use, and that's it. That's all there is to it. In some cases, the tags allow you to, um, they're like checkboxes that you can maintain as kind of a to-do list. But where the tags really come in handy is that it allows you to find things. So if I have particular items tagged in certain ways, all I have to do is click this Find Tags and it will bring up a full list of the variety of tags that I have out there. So all the things that I have in my to-do list that are unmarked, I have items marked as important. It makes it really easy to find those stars and you can tag things in multiple different ways. So it makes it really easy to, even if you start to lose track of your pages and your sections, to find what you're looking for. And that's what we're looking for in OneNote. The other way that makes it really, really easy to navigate is the search bar. So the search bar is available over here in the top right. And the search bar by default can looks in your particular notebook, but you can actually sort through either this notebook, these sections, this group. You can basically determine how you want to search. And if we go ahead and type something in like uh, channel, It'll show you everything in a page that has the word channel or uh, let's do change. It'll list specifically anything that has a title of change or the content is just available on the page. So it makes it really, really easy to find things in OneNote. And OneNote is really, really great at allowing you to find that stuff. And you'll notice that we have one item here, which is Outlook Tasks, which brings us into reason number three, you should be using Microsoft OneNote. And that really comes down to Outlook integration. So all of the Office 365 tools work together in a variety of ways. The pairing in particular between Outlook and OneNote is really, really good. So it works both ways. So if we go ahead and we say we want to create a, a to do task in Outlook for each one of these items. It's as simple as highlighting the things you want and going up here to Outlook tasks and flagging them just like you would in email. It shows up in Outlook as a task that you can verify and move forward with. You can also email page really easily. So it will go ahead and create a very simple HTML page that will go out as an email. So we can go ahead and send our OneNote notes whenever and wherever we like. 
So these are ways to get things from OneNote to Outlook, but it also runs the other way. So if we run to Outlook, we can take an email that we want to preserve or uh, reference in our notes very easily with the Send to OneNote button. So the Send to OneNote button will find all of the notebooks that we have available, and you can pin right down to right down to the particular page, open in OneNote. Here it'll show you the online version of it. That exact email, shot for shot, right here in our OneNote. So information to OneNote and from OneNote. Really, really easy working with Outlook. Reason number four to use OneNote. One of the best ways I've found to use OneNote is it's really great as an asynchronous collaboration tool. Now, what does that mean? It means that like most cloud-based systems, you can have multiple people in a OneNote notebook either at the same time or at different times, and they can all contribute to, to a OneNote notebook while taking advantage of all the flexibility and creativity that OneNote provides in a way that you don't have from a collaborative Word document or a collaborative Excel document. And furthermore, one of the reasons why you might want to consider using OneNote is if we go over here to the History tab, you find that we can monitor recent edits, find by author or hide authors. So if we go to find by author, I can get a really quick look of who's been modifying what pages of my notes, and it makes it really easy to find and dissect the information that's been put there. And I've used, I've created OneNote notebooks specifically for the sole purpose of conducting a brainstorming exercise over the course of several weeks, or anytime I want people to be able to have the creativity and the freedom to move items around, all of the things you use OneNote for, but as a collaborative document that people can work together on. The last item that I want to talk about today and reason number five you should be using OneNote is templates. Templates are really, really cool. So you can always create your templates just by doing what I've done here. And I have a section set aside here called templates and each one of these pages is a template. But if I want to go ahead and use one of these, I have to grab it and copy it and then move it to the section that I want to do that on. That's a little cumbersome. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use templates. So to get find templates, you can just go up here to the insert tab, click on page templates. You can see I've got two already here that are really easy to create, but we're going to go ahead and make a new one. So I'm going to click on page templates and it'll bring up this little sidebar. So you can see here that there are already a lot of templates that exist but we can create one very easily. We can just navigate to a page where we don't have one already. So I like this SWAT and toes template. I want to make this an actual template for all the various programs I'm meeting with to go through their SWAT, their individual SWAT exercises and their toes exercises. So all I have to do is go down to the bottom here and save current page as a template. I can give it a name, so I'll call it SWAT slash toes. It gives us the option to set it as a default template for new pages in the current section. I can easily imagine situations where that is relevant, but we're not going to do that today. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. And now if we go to my templates, you can see I've got my coaching board, my fishbone, and now my SWAT toes. So if I need to create a new SWAT toes with a new program, it's as easy as clicking on this template and it will drop a new page here. If I'm in a different column, I can just click it instant SWAT toes template available anywhere in my notebook anytime I want. So that does it for today's training. Thank you so much. Check it out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a message. Uh, have a great rest of your day and good luck. Enjoy OneNote. Talk to you later.